Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this video is going to explain the video I'm uploading right now. I never really got to it. It happened recently about a week ago. This was in August. It wasn't like from like five months ago. I know this is very recent. So I'm going to explain to you what this is about and because it's not going to make sense for me just upload it and not explain the backstory how I got to this point. There is going to be missing footage because I was recording him and he was recording me and he has a cheap phone. So he was going to send it to my mom because he titled tells on me to my mom um, and he's my mom's age, maybe a little bit younger. I'm not sure, but around 50s, something like that, 40s, 50s, one of those. So uh I can't show you the really juicy footage because I don't have it and he can't send it. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't send it to me anyways. And I'm not going to go and get his phone and do it behind his back. And he, it's just no way to, it's a, too much of a hassle to do that. You just take my word for it. And that's about it. So basically how this whole thing started was this guy, I'm not going to say his name, um, you don't guys don't need to know his name is it just whatever it's just a guy uh so this guy has been in my mom's life for about a year maybe so um and all he's done is cause drama he's an alcoholic that is a fact he drinks like a 30 pack of keystone a day and blah 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 this and that so I'm not going to get into the past because it's going to take way too long and it's going to be a long video. You guys don't want to watch a fucking 15 minute video of me explain what happened. So I'm going to explain a little bit in the past. So the, the past, when he first, when I first met him, I tried to enter, tried to talk to him, get to know him, blah, 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 try to figure him out. And at the time I had a roommate here and me and him had issues. Short story short that my mom got a call, you know, from some, I think it was James that, you know, this guy, my roommate, was having problems, and the guy wanted to, um, I'm talking about, he wanted to fix stuff between me and this roommate, and I didn't want nothing to do with it. You can't just come into a house and say, you're going to fix shit, when you don't know the backstory, you don't know any of these things. So that was the first mistake he did, and that's how it all happened. So when my mom called me, I confronted, I asked him, I was like, hey, what's going on? Everything's good. My mom's freaking out for no reason. He just played stupid. You know, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 stuff like that. I guess it wasn't a big deal. And then shortly after that, he started to, the same night, um, he was started to talk shit to me and say, why don't you have a job? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Just, you know, for no reason, out of the blue. And mind you, he's drunk all the time which is an alcoholic and that's not good to be around very negative people and I don't see a difference between when he's drunk and not drunk because he's always drunk and I'm pretty sure there's not really a difference so it basically that's how this whole thing started and then eventually you know I didn't he left and I told him if he keeps talking uh, we're gonna have a problem and that was my first warning to him so he left, didn't come back for a while. Then he came back, kind of held a grudge against him. And he came to live here for uh, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. It felt like a long time. And he had a job. Remind you, what I do is not of his business. If I choose to do cocaine or whatever, or whatever I do is not his business. He is not my stepdad. I'm not related to him in any way. It's just one of my mom's uh, fuck nasty boyfriends that she wants to have because she's desperate okay so i have to deal with that no matter what so it's is the ongoing thing he's probably the worst out of all of them but that's just when you have a single mom that's what happens or a separated mom from divorce whatever that's what happens so basically um uh he came back i didn't really talk to him because i didn't like him uh, you know, we still had that grudge from the first time meeting and he tried to jump in and be the hero and score brownie points on my mom for fixing the issue. That wasn't my fault. It's just, I didn't like him. He's a tattletale. Both of them are kind of the same. One's an alcoholic, one's not. And one's just like, they're both childish. They start shit for no reason. They're OCD about everything. Just stupid, annoying people you don't want to deal with. So basically, um... 
after that ended, he left and didn't come back for a couple weeks. Um, so when he came back and lived here, actually lived here, he was just visiting for a couple of days and I didn't know him. So that's how I was trying to get to know him. He came back and, uh, that's where it really escalated. And, um, so I wish I had the fucking other footage. That sucks. Um, that was on the same day. I'm going to show you this video because there's more to it. This is just me talking shit to him and him just saying the same thing over and over again, which it doesn't do anything. It's not his business what I do. As a respect for any other person that would be watching this, you have your mom's boyfriend tell you what to do. You probably would not like that, obviously. You're a grown-ass adult. You do what you want, and he he's not your babysitter. He doesn't need to tell you what to do. It's not his business what I do at all. Nothing. Zero. But he makes it his business. Girls, food, anything is his business. He reports it to my mom like a child, like we're two years old. It's fucking annoying. So, besides all that, I'm getting off track. Right? This is going to be a long video anyways. Um, so, he came back. The sec This is the second time. First time is when I met him. The second time is when he stayed here. And he had a job and he was working, blah, blah, blah. So, during times when he was staying here, we didn't talk. Because I knew my tension towards him. I didn't like him. I didn't like the way he... Uh, he approached, he, he he tried to handle something that wasn't his business. I didn't like that. I didn't like that he's trying to insert himself and boss me around in a way. That's basically how it felt. He, he rubbed me off the wrong way. So when that happened, I didn't talk to him after that. I didn't care for him. I didn't hate him, but I didn't want him around necessarily as much as I do now. So basically what happened was uh, the second time he was here, uh, he, he had his own food and shit, and I didn't have food stamps, I didn't have a lot of shit really, I think I did, I'm not sure, I don't think I did actually, um, so now as many of you don't know, I had food, I have food stamps, so I get my own food, you know, my mom gives me, I get her the car, and she goes, she pop, shop, eh, food shopping, whatever, so it's basically my money I'm using from the, what they give me, it's $194, whatever, it's enough for a while, unless, till the next payment I get, it's like, it's every 5th of every month, because that's my birthday, is the 5th of April. So it's every 5th of every month. And it goes for 3 months at a time. And then you have to renew it and do all the stupid shit again. So, <laughs> at the time, I did not have food stamps. So, I had all this food in the refrigerator. So what he would do is, remember, he's an alcoholic. I would go out at night, because I didn't sleep well, was still dealing with sleeping not really sleeping well i didn't have sleeping pills to help me fix this shit that i was going at and this was a while ago this was this is not recently this has been going over a, almost a year period uh um so basically he would sit out in the middle of the dark in the living room and when i come out he would wait for me and just start talking shit oh jason do you have a lot of food in the in the thing where does that where does that food come from he is He's trying to get me to understand that my mom is spending money. And since I don't eat a lot, it stacks up a time. It looks like I have a lot of food, which could make him think that she keeps giving me food. But otherwise, it's just food I'm not eating, and it looks like it's full. Whatever. So he started talking one of these days at night, like 12 o'clock at night. Talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. And... Reminds you, reminds you, I am feeding off of what my mom gives me. It only gets worse. It doesn't get better anyway. This is where it really hit the fan. This is going to be a long video anyways, but it's hard to understand without me explaining how this all started. So he would, he would, um, he would, uh, what's it called? He would start shit saying, oh, you don't help out. You don't do this. You don't do that. You don't do anything, blah, 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 blah. Just out of the middle of fucking nowhere, he, he would, so he would start off a conversation in the middle of the fucking dark, just sit out there in the living room, complete darkness, and go, so, Jason, um, that's a lot of food in there. He's like, don't you think you should get a job? You know, that's a lot of food. He's like, where do you get it from? Blah, blah, blah. I, I might have had food stamps. I'm pretty sure I didn't, or I got the least, the first payment of it, the half of it, because they gave you, like, somebody in a couple days. And then they start giving you the actual amount. I don't know why. It's just so they get you started on food stamps or whatever. Um, but I'm 100% sure I didn't have at the time. So he's like, you got all that food in here, but you don't work. 
This is his main thing. I don't work. I have had tons of jobs. I'm not working because, first of all, I don't want to work and leave. So, my I didn't have a plan at the time. Now, I have a plan. I have it all set up so I can't. I can work, but it's no point for me to work if I'm just going to leave really soon anyways. It's just because... I don't, that's my choice. It's the way it is. I still get food stamps. I still have a way to make money. I got my stimulus, you know, so it's kind of like I didn't really need to and I didn't expect him to come back after the second time. Hold on, guys. I'm going to cut this part out. He's here. I'm trying not to piss him off, I guess. All right, guys, so he came. I knew he was probably going to come, and I don't want him knowing and talking about him because he just caused more drama. So between the second time, this is where it started most of it. So like I said, you know, he kept talking shit, saying I was not helping out and all this shit. All the shit he doesn't know that I've done in the past and shit. So it only created more drama for him to confront me, and I know what he was trying to do. I get it. But... You have no business getting involved in what me and my mom are doing or anything like that. So, when he started talking shit, I confronted him and I said, you need to mind your own business. And he's, and remind you, he is drunk. I said, if you don't, I'm going to punch you in the face. That simple. Wasn't joking, was dead serious because I'm tired of people talking shit and they get away with it and i have to live with it because he's here all the time basically whenever he's home from work but still it's i don't i shouldn't have to be leaving my room worrying about if he's going to start something that's just the way it was so that happened and um that way i told him then he left the next morning he didn't come back for like a couple months um, so that happened. He didn't come back. He threatened my mom, said the stupid, some stupid shit. And then uh, that's what happened after that. Because he left as soon as I threatened him the next, I think he left the next morning or a day after that or one of those. And then, so I haven't talked to him since the last time he left. So he came up to visit um, a couple months after that. And I haven't talked to him. He was gone. I was like, okay, we're good. He's leaving. I don't have to worry about him again. Nope. I had to worry about him because he was here again. So that's what happened. And then he visited here. And then, you know, he was going through some shit. And he lost his CDL license, which is a truck driving license. My dad, stepdad has that. Or did have that. I don't know if he has any more. I haven't talked to him. And he lost some other shit. My mom is helping him too you know support himself so my mom is helping him which i don't like because he's involved asking for money for alcohol and all this other shit and um uh, oh shit so and then eventually it turned out to him living here again for the second time he didn't have a job he didn't have anything my mom was helping him with everything cdl license food all that shit so this is where it really hit the fan um this is all over the smallest thing possible the stupidest fucking thing possible you guys are gonna laugh at this so that's what happened so he i didn't want him here i was under impression he was only gonna be here for a couple days for interview for jobs here because eventually he came here to live here to get a job here in reno which he lives three hours away and um, do that. And I didn't know he was going to live here. I thought he was just going to stay for a couple of days, get the interview, and go back three hours away. Nope. My mom kind of misled me on that, which really made me upset. Because I did not want him here. I was in a happy place. And I had to deal with his shit again. And I know how he's acted in the past. And you can't blame me for being like, okay, what the fuck? I got to deal with this shit again? So 
this is where it really exploded. It's like the first, this, the third time. Um, shit, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, so he he had an ice pack for his lunchbox, right? So he misplaced it or lost. It. I'm pretty sure he misplaced it, or he just tried to start shit with me and say I stole it. It's a fucking ice pack like this big, okay? What the fuck am I going to do with ice pack? I don't work. I don't need it for anything. I don't have any body problems, you know, to use it. So why would I use it? So that is what it was for a second. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to sum this up quick so I can just upload this. Um, so, he, 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 oh, so stupid. he wanted me to admit that I took it, even though I told my mom, my mom asked me first, did you take it? Did you misplace it? Did you take it by accident? No, no, no. All my answers were no. I did not take it. I'm not going to sabotage him. I want him to get his shit and get the fuck out. Get a job and that's it get a job and then he can get his own place and leave that was that's the mission at hand is for him to do that so i told him i didn't take it like 50 fucking times he soon after i kept telling him and telling him and telling him telling him he would accuse me of stealing it an ice pack stealing it so that's where it caused more issues so I told him, I said, I swear on my fucking life, I did not take your stupid fucking ice pack. So that was the issue. And then it led to the confrontation you guys are going to see. I uh, called him out on this shit. I told him, let's go outside and handle our business, you know, fight, obviously. He has that video unless he deleted it, but I'm not going to get it. So you guys are going to miss that because it's fucking hilarious from what I did. That was funny. Yeah, so that's really it. I'm not trying to make this long because it's the part is like 13 minutes long. So that's basically what happened. We start talking shit to each other, blah blah blah. Him getting my business again, talking about job, 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 blah blah blah. Same shit, different day. Same thing as last time. I tried to help him out and get him a new ice pack that I had in my room so he can keep his stuff cold. But he thought I was substituting it because I took his, which I didn't. Obviously, I don't need it. There's no reason for me to need it. And um, that was the case. And you're going to see all the shit talking and shit. But that's really it. That's the background story. I don't want this to make this super long. Um, so give me, give me a like and share this and do whatever. Comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded guys, but go with your lot of shit. Lost a couple of friends, stuff like that. And I just I really feel the urge to stream. But I got, I got my shit going. I'm going into Job Corps. I told you this before, I believe. Uh, everything's on hold because of coronavirus. Hopefully you guys are safe. And not getting sick. Just follow the guidelines so this shit will end. And we can start reopening the economy again. Because it was like that before, and then people start doing stupid shit. So, you guys don't want to get it, especially if you're older. It's more deadly if you're older. Um, I haven't got it, thank God. I'm probably not going to get it because I don't go out too much. I just don't see a reason to. But, um, I'm going to upload this and that. And I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Over and over again. Why do you gotta hold it? Whatever I do is none of his business, obviously. He's my mom's right, friend that so he this is, um, or that she is helping out. Just so you guys uh, all. He's know. nobody. Just pretend as that. You so will not be able to see me see who's smarter. because Remember, I'm out of the shot. Like, so that. enjoy and let me know what you think. There's more to this, but I didn't get it on video of me confronting him outside and. He pussied out and didn't touch me or punch me like I told him to. He has those videos, and I don't have access to them, so this is the best I got, basically. So enjoy.
you know this since you've been in the program. So, X? Um, why don't you work right now? Because I thought I was going to leave earlier. Straight up truth. To all this corona shit, I've been dying. There's tons of jobs, bro. That's not the point. I was supposed to leave. But yeah, corona but shit happened. You so, had 25 years to get a job. I've had tons of jobs. Taco Bell, Safe Mart, Jump Baby Jump down the street, Domino's, no, bullshit. fucking McDonald's. What? What? Wow. <clears throat> How many days? Uh, talk about four years. No. Yes. And McDonald's That's two weeks why. because they quit That's and they went back to Taco Bell. That's why. You were there for like six months. Four years, six months. That's still a long time. But no, I've been there for almost four years and a half. No. Oh. Everybody, just so you know, he's drunk and he's starting shit and I tried to help him, but yeah. This is the guy that proposed to my mom over um, text message and, and your title tells on me. 25 and... They all know this. My whole oh, audience knows this shit. This, this is going to embarrass you. Okay. He's, he's asked for my mom for money for alcohol. All this other shit. Everything my mom has told me completely true and he will do not admit to it and you're still here and he's leaving because I try to help him with his ice pack because he thinks I insistently took it which I didn't you can look at my room well, there's no reason for me to take it no reason whatsoever I am calm cool and collective right now you're not that's why you're leaving Again, for the second time. This is the second time I've scared him off twice. First time is because I told him to punch him in the face. And you ain't worth going to jail for. Once you come at me, then I'll fuck your shit up. Mm. And, uh, see, he's still drinking, but yeah, he's leaving, so he's going to be caught uh, with the DUI if you choose to leave tonight. Which you find me staying the whole night. Who knows? Um, but yeah, guys, that's what's going on. This is my life. I have to deal with him worried about me and he wants to be my stepdad that's the funny part he wants to marry my mom i do not want to be your stepdad i want nothing to do with you well if you don't want nothing to do with me that means you have nothing to do with my mother because i am my mother hello she gave birth to me so if you're involved in her life that means you're involved in mine as long as i'm around and she's about six years old so yeah i don't think that's gonna work out so consider how, you how old is she about 60 Ish. She's about 62, I think. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's what she told me. And you know something different? You think she's like 20, huh? Hmm. Interesting. He didn't know how old she was, huh? That's weird. Very weird. If I'm around, you marry her. You're going to have to deal with me no matter what. Even if I'm working, even if I'm doing anything, I will be around. No matter if I'm living here or not, she's still my mom. I still have to care about her and do everything. Well, why, why don't you get a job? See, this is what he says every time. I told you for the 50th time, I'm going to Job Corps, which is a school, so I right. can be on my own. A no, job does there. not help me right now. Right. It only gives me money, doesn't get me prepared for the real world, doesn't get me a career. You're 25, bro. Oh my God. You see, guys, he just repeats himself like 50 times. You are not understanding what Job Corps is. You said you did I it. I know what Job Corps is. Then you know what I'm doing, right? Or did you flunk out? Maybe you're the one that got your ass beat that you said. Because, guys, he said that I, I'm going to get fucked up. Number one, that doesn't happen. And if it does, then oh well. But I'm not getting kicked out for that. Job Corps wasn't All 30 right, so years ago. you're going to stick it out and do yeah. a job. It's not going to happen because they can't and get out. a job. Read the description. So what was, about what about after Job Corps? I'll have everything set up. College, I'll go into college after that. Oh, doing okay. community college nice. sports. I'm doing all my shit. I have it all planned out. Mm -hmm. You don't know shit. You uh, you don't Apparently have a job. I don't. You don't have a job. Who cares? A lot of people don't have jobs. You know, people lost their job this year because of Corona. A lot. You know how many jobs Trump's made? At least a million in a month. Yeah. And I don't want to work if I'm going to go to Job Corps because I'll be working there every day, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. School all day long. Get two days. That's it. If I need to work because she will get evicted, I will. 
but I could be leaving any time. Everything changes every fucking week. Do you know that you can go to work right now and help out your mom? Yes, I know that, but I'm not doing that because I'm supposed to leave. I well, can't have any job doing experience. It because you don't want to. Yes, I don't want to because I'm supposed to be leaving. I have to get all my shit packed. Who cares? Go this to is work. The, he he's he's obsessed with me working. I don't know why he cares about me so much. I'm I'm flattered that you have a thing for me working. It don't, it don't make sense. Oh I have paid my mom money ever since I've been You're here. You're 25 and you don't have a fucking job. You know me, 25 year olds and over don't have jobs a lot. Comment below I, if you have that. I have no idea. It's not unusual, okay? I have my well, shit planned out. it's not unusual, but you you can get a job. Yes, I can get know. a job very quickly. I have yeah, tried. Yeah, of course you can. I have tried before Job Corps. Had tons of interviews, just none of them worked out. No more cowboy. Soccer coach, fucking uh, warehouse, all this shit. I've done shit that you don't even know about because you've been missing for like uh, months. I don't know. And you just pop up begging for my mom for money and shit. Oh, wow. Saying, oh, and then now you owe her money, so oh, now you have to okay. commute three hours oh, wow. in the middle of nowhere to do a trucking job because you want to leave. Because right. he thinks I'm out to get him. Even though I don't like him, I wasn't out to get him. He wants to fight over an ice pack. This is how this started since he's been back. Ever since then, there's been other issues. But this is over an ice pack that I did not take. But he's obsessed with ice packs because he can't buy another one. That's like I a dollar. I never brought up the ice pack. That's interesting. This is that what you started did. this. Because. Ice packs. You confronted me. I heard you. Yeah. Like, yeah, he admitted he confronted me to my mom. He told my mom I was in the wrong. I confronted him. Over the ice pack, nothing else. Why are you filming my dick? I, you gay? I never. Um, this was about that. There was no other conversation about that besides the ice pack that goes in your lunchbox. Did you box. take it? No. I don't believe you. Well, I don't care if you fucking believe me or not. The facts speak know. for itself. Go look at my room. I gave you an ice pack. Is that not good enough for you? Do you want a bigger one? Well, that ice pack that you gave me was the one I left here when I first left because of your dumbass ass. Fact checker, eh, that's wrong. I've had at least five from my mom and Jess. You guys don't know him, but I've talked about him before. I've got two oh, from you and many, then Jesse. How many, how many people? Jesse and my mom. Okay. So that's two people. Okay. So one's a, and then Aaron, but he doesn't count. All right. Anything else? Come on, spit out. Come on. I gotta go to sleep. I'm waiting for you to leave. Come on. I've got enough, bro. You're filming my dick. Is that, it's kind of gay. You know that, right? You, can you film up so you can see my face because you know who you're talking to? I think you're gay. Well, I, if I'm right. gay, if, if I'm gay, be gay, that's fine. But you have a problem me have a job, so now it's if I'm gay. If I'm gay, I wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. Oh, God. Yeah, fuck that. You're super confused. I'm not confused, I'm just telling you right. straight up. Like, so I'm gonna forward this to your mom, and you're 25 years old, and you act like a retard. Yeah. I act like a retard, it says once alcoholic. Guys, he's an alcoholic, he's been drinking ever since he's been here from day to night. Who is but the problem I, here? But I have a job. Yeah, it took you long enough, like two weeks to get, because you mm -hmm. had to come here to get a job here. Wow. You didn't get a job at Walker and Lake, you did you? No. Oh my God. Guys, he, wow. he moved three hours away to stay here to get a job here because he couldn't find a job where he lived three hours away in the middle of fucking desert. So who's the problem here? And he still wants to come here because I'm here. There you go. Why would you come here? I don't know, why would I? Because you have nowhere to go. Because you're a loser. Loser. Alcoholic loser. Thank that's you. trying to persuade my mom into marrying her when she has no interest in you whatsoever. Thank you. It's disgusting. It's gross me out. She has better luck with Cleo than you. That's that. You do realize you're being recorded, right? Yeah, and? Is this, any of this going to offend her? No, because it's facts. I only talk facts. I don't said lines like you do. Like, oh my god, he's he's uh, touching the microwave and he's beeping, waking me up. I hear all of it. My god, you're like a fucking drama queen in high school. 
Stop filming my dick. It's not necessary. It's kind of making me uncomfortable right now. My face is up here, not down there. You're looking like a pervert right now. You know that, right? You know you're fucking up, right? How am I fucking up? I'm telling you straight to your face. Because you're being you. That's good. If I'm being me, then I'm not fake. Yeah, you're you're a good man. You're drunk. Yeah. There you go. Atta boy. There's the spirit. You're sobering up. See, guys? It's sobering up. It's awesome. I'll leave. Sweet. And don't come back as long as I'm here. Well, if I'm not here, that means she will move too. I'm off. Oh, wow. So if you're. You want me out because. You're annoying, you cause drama, and you're an alcoholic. Oh, wow. And you remind me of someone I will not mention. Okay. And I don't want to be mentioned like that. I don't want toxic people like you here. I'd rather have any of my mom's exes here beside you. Oh, I get any that. of them. I get that. And that's why you stole my ice pack. See? I don't have your fucking ice pack, you crackhead. God. I'm not a crackhead. You're not alcoholic. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't I'm an have. Alcoholic. I don't have your ice pack. I swear. I'm an alcoholic that works, that functions. You won't I'm function like much you. longer. I function perfectly fine. I'm good, man. I have the drive to do whatever I want. You don't. But once I found out you're not alcoholic, guess what? You're out homeless again. You'll be crying three hours away. Shit. Damn your heart. That's the truth. You came here to get a job and then move out. Mm -hmm. That's not going to go. And you go back three hours away. And if you don't, I'll let you make your life a living hell. I got tons of things I can do. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. Thank you. What is, what is that? For? What are you doing? Take a, a screenshot of my face? He's still, mm -hmm. he's, he's still, he's, he's not recording now, guys. Why are you going to bother her at 12 in the one in the morning? What the fuck is that? That's fucked Bro, up. you're fucked up. You're fucked up. You're a mental fucking case. So you have you're a problem people who have disabilities now. Mental. Okay. Mm. I just roasted the shit out of you. Thanks, Mike. You will now be famous.